So I'm here to do a tutorial and I'm gonna be using all the products from my makeup basket this week. So um, I said I was gonna do a face of the day or a get ready with me, but I decided to do a tutorial and I'm gonna be talking through it. So let me know if you want me to continue to do the talk throughs or you just want me to do more of the fast forward, show the product kind of um, tutorial. Um, oh, and this wig, if you um, notice that I got on some color today, uh, I will be doing a review or I, I recorded a review today and it probably will be after this video because I want to get this video up so it can go, go along with the week that I'm doing the basket. And if you want to see how I got this look with the items from my makeup basket this week, then stay tuned. Bye. So um, I already did my brows so that it would shorten the video because I do kind of take a while to do my brows. Um, yeah. So I did use the Milani Stay Put Brow Color. This is in dark brown. And to clean up my brows, I used my MAC Studio Finish Concealer. I, I had this in the video, but I didn't mention it. But it's in my first video, so just in case. But um, this is the only thing that I have been using for my brow since I purchased it. So um, I don't like using anything else. So this is it so I use that now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna prime my eyes I'm gonna use the Smashbox 24-hour photo primer photo finish shadow primer so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use my Mac pro long wear concealer and NC 45 as a base or a I want to even my my eye my darkness on my eye because you're not going to be able to see the transition of the colors in the eyeshadows if I don't do that. So I'm going to do that. So this will be, I'm going to use, actually I probably will end up using two bases. So I'm going to pump a little bit of that, which is way more than I need. Alright, so I'm, I'm going to let that kind of dry and then I'm going to use my um, color tattoo, which is, this is Sleek, Sleek and Spice. And it's kind of like a, a brown taupe kind of color. So... Now I'm gonna use the the Amrezy palette, and I'm gonna go into one of my favorite colors in this palette, which is Vanilla, and I'm gonna use that as my brow bone highlight. Next in the Amrezy palette, I'm going to take caramel or car caramel, however you pronounce it, which is this color right here. I'm going to put that in my crease. It's going to be my, I think I'm going to use Morocco too. Um, so this is going to be, I think it's going to be my, I think I'm only going to use caramel, but we'll see how this goes. I want to take the Tamana Dress Your Face palette, and this is the color right here, which is going to be custom. And I'm going to put that on my lid. Put that on my lid, and I also go a little bit above my lid. I don't because my I have somewhat of a a hooded eyelid, so I like to have more. I guess somewhat eyelid space or create more eyelid space, so I go a little bit above my actual eyelid.
So next I'm gonna take chocolate right here, out of the palette, and I'm gonna put that in my outer V. And I'm gonna blend it up into my crease. So I'm gonna go back into the Amrezy palette and I'm gonna use a little bit more of the caramel on my brush and I'm gonna blend a little bit more. So now I'm gonna prime my face. I'm gonna use the NYX Honey Do Me Up Skin Serum and Primer. So now I'm gonna use the BH Cosmetics Concealer Palette. I'm gonna use this color right here that's pretty much almost gone. This is the favorite, my favorite color. I'm gonna use my fingers. Cause it's gonna this is a you know a thick product it's gonna warm up the product and make it a little bit easier to blend so now I'm going to use my foundation the foundation I'm using is the L'Oreal true match this is in C7 this probably is gonna be a tad bit dark but I'm using C ooh, about to drop it I'm using C6 in the powder so um, that should balance it out. So now I'm gonna do my concealer under the eyes. I'm gonna do my back pro long wear, which I don't know why I can't find it, is right under me. So I've just mainly blended it out a little bit more with it. And then I'm going to immediately set it with the Rimmel Stay Matte powder so that it does not crease under my eye. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, use my contour, which I, I'm going to use the City Color Contour Effects Palette. Now I'm gonna use my blush. I don't know. I think I'm gonna use this blush. I'm gonna take my highlight, which is Stereo Rose. Now I'm gonna do my powder. It's the L'Oreal True Match in C6. I'm gonna use. What did I do this? I'm gonna use 
Purple Rain Lip Liner by NYX. And this is the final look and I will of course show you what it looks like with my hair all done and everything so stay tuned for that and thank you guys for watching it was I think was it it didn't have dark roots so this wig does not come with dark roots. I have dark roots because I made it have dark roots. So I'm gonna show you how I did that. And I can't show you when I did it because I just, it was just like impulse.